I don't think anything is a pressure. It's more so just uh, how bad do you want it for yourself? And uh, we tend to put our own pressure on ourselves. So uh, it's just more so about how bad do you want it? Do you want to go get it? It's pretty simple. Two thousand thirteen, two thousand fourteen. Me and Rich um, really dove deep into our relationship. I start to um, see the possibilities and um, what I can do outside of basketball. And um, you know, it started with just uh, you know wanting to just explore the tech and wanting to have a foundation. I think those are two things that we really you know started on first and uh, kind of catapulted me into other different fields and just you know, had me curious and now we're just kind of really in it. It's just the physical is the difference, you know, just physically doing something different on the basketball court, but I think mentally just the focus, the teamwork that we have to have, the, you know, just the care for it that we have to have. And, and that just like that uh, open mind, you know, I think that's something that uh, I try to approach basketball with and in business and with somebody who's been, who's way more experienced than me, but is kind of teaching me the ropes as well. I just try to learn as much as I can. We rarely had those talks, you know, especially around the Bay Area, man, especially the technology world, I mean, because one a deal that I may be in, Draymond might have heard about, and he wanted to know more about it. And Andre the same way, your stuff the same way. So it's just like, you know, so much stuff comes past, you know, comes to our desk, all of us, from the, all five or six of us, and there's just so much information, you're just trying to figure it out and learn. And, you know, it's good to have guys that are interested in the same things on the same team. Oh, it's just one thing we noticed, I mean, one thing that's always been true with us is that the basketball has got to always bounce, you know, that's got to always be first. And um, nothing else to take our focus away from that. You know, obviously in the summer months when, you know, I'm just working out and my mind is not really on the game, that's when we can really dive into what we want to do as a company and as a, as a team. But for the most part, you know, I'm locked in on the basketball season and Rich is doing his part, controlling my business while I'm focused on playing basketball. So we're just having a great team has allowed me to kind of, you know, be relaxed on the court, knowing that everything off the court is handled and I trust everybody that's around. You know, if I stop playing, then nobody's going, I mean, because basketball's the reason why I'm even in these rooms. So I got to continue to keep focusing on that first, but also sharpening the other side. And that's when he comes in and kind of teaches me the ropes. You know, in business, you know, because we're we're not as smart or as as famous when it comes to that side of you know the world. You go into things, um, you know, very very confident, but uh, at the same time, just knowing that you're not elite at that part of your life, just like you are in basketball, and I think that gives you a good balance between success and you know wanting to continue to keep you in success. You know, we put out content every week, um, you know, just try to interact as best as we can with the fans and just make sure it's personal and authentic. And we came up with the idea of just taking us to YouTube. At first, I was opposed to it because, you know, it was different and, you know, it was a, more of a clearer look into my life. But uh, at the same time, it gives, a, it gives the fans a nice feel of who we, for who we are and what we do. And, may, and ultimately, they respect us more for it. So, you know, it's a cool cool relationship you have through YouTube and that kind of bridges the gap between you and your fans. I just want to impact people um, in a positive way. I want to tell stories, particularly basketball stories and you know, just how that changed my life and others' lives around me. We come up with so many different ideas that just looking forward to just inspiring people and, and it all comes from just loving what you do and loving life. I mean, it was difficult, I can't lie. I mean, the first time you really get some backlash for something that has nothing to do with uh, what you do on the basketball court. So it felt like I was punching and fighting and just trying to fight my way out of it for two years. So many people telling me what to do and how to act. I just, it was so confusing. But now things have become real clear, especially after winning two championships. <laughs> so let me just focus on me, focus on what I love to do, focus on my business and how we can grow that focus on basketball, you know, just stuff that really matters. I don't think people, people still don't understand, but um, I mean, that's, 
I did it for I did it for me. I did it to just for me because you know it's the easiest thing to do is to stay true to yourself. It's hard to put on an outfit every day and try to be someone else, you know. So, but when you're authentic, it, it's kind of fifty-fifty on if people are gonna like you or not. So you know you gotta. Some people don't want to deal with that. So it, it's just a lot of questions you gotta ask yourself when you when you're going through this life, and you know sometimes you gotta do the uncomfortable thing. Yeah, I mean, she knew I had a dream, and uh, growing up where we grew up, um, you got to protect that dream because everybody's going to tell you it's impossible to do. And so I felt like she was always my protector and kind of shielding everybody away so I can go play ball on this court, you know. So uh, as I got older, she kind of took that shield away and just became a fan. And, you know, it was just a natural progression from a, you know, as a, from a mother-son relationship, especially someone who's, you know, rising up the ranks so fast, you know, so um, she kind of took, you know, fell back from being mom and, you know, it almost feels like she has a big sister vibe when she's around, you know, just always encouraging, always cheering and, you know, want the best for me and my teammates. So it's a, it's a dope relationship that we have. I think you should find something that you uh, you believe in and that, you, that you're passionate about that you want to uh, just lock in on. Uh, just having a good team around you is, is another thing that's, uh, that's something I'm very, very grateful for. Just having a small group of people that understand me and, want, and know what my visions are and try to help me execute them. You know, so get a, you know, make sure you have a nice group of people around you that you can, that you guys can lead each other.